Okay, I'm going to uh, show my uh, um, laptop mount that I made for my uh, Toyota Prius. Uh, this started because I was trying to find them and they were just so expensive. I didn't want to spend a few hundred dollars and most of them required some sort of bolting to the floor and I wasn't really interested in doing that either. So I went and looked for designs and I couldn't really find any. So I started fabricating my own. It's not perfect, but it's actually functional. I've been using it for about six months now and actually been quite happy with it. Uh, so I built it out of PVC pipe. Let me show it to you. This is the mount right here. Now it sits on the floor in front of the passenger side chair. So if I were in my car, um, you'd be facing it about like that. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, we have the top platform, which is this. Now this one was made for my laptop, so it's the right size. Um, I just used a uh, rubber to uh, allow, lift it up, and it also per, uh, allows air to flow underneath the laptop so I don't have heating problems. Um, I needed to change these screws to be kind of matte flush to the wood. I just have been lazy. Um, I attached it to a cap for PVC using uh, two screws and just put them through there and put the nuts on, on them. And um, I tried to epoxy it in some way right in here. Didn't really work. So I ended up going with the screws. And so I designed it where you can just put the top on and uh, you could replace it with a different kind of top. Say you had a, you wanted a workstation or you wanted a one for like an iPad or a netbook. Obviously it needs to be smaller. And it rotates in the car. I had a counterweight issue and to counter take care of that I actually just made the, went and got these 10 pound each uh, ankle weights and when they're in the car I just throw them on there. I figured no one's sitting there anyway. Um, so I put that on. That just prevents me need, from needing to uh, um, bolt it to the floor. PVC pipe. And so for the, I used these two separate pieces so that I could have it offset some. Um, I bought three, four different pieces. You can buy them in at, at about, I don't know, two, three foot lengths of this. I believe it's two inch PVC. Um, I used two more of this same piece right here. So I ended up needing four for this. Um, I used a T-joint uh, with just a center post and I had to kind of measure these lengths to make it fit my car as best as it could. Now this is where it kind of evolved as I was building it. Um, my original design was to put caps on these and I was going to fill the base with sand to take care of the weight but then I realized that uh, that would make this too heavy and I wouldn't be able to lift it up out of the car very easily. Um, and this piece um, is not attached. Um, I originally was going to replace this or that one right there with one of these and have it tie in and make a square but um, well I got lazy because it worked and so I discovered all I really needed was to have that attached there and I set the weight so let me uh, show you this in the car. Um, but as you can see I designed this to be easy to go in so just take that and set that in there. I don't know if you can tell. Let me take the camera off. That fits just right on the flat part of my car before it starts to turn up. That's very nice. And then once I have it in, I just throw a weight. Now, this is enough counterweight to hold my 15 inch laptop. And then I'm going to put the top on. You rotate it the how you need it, and I'll show you from the passenger. Okay, in my car, on the, in the driver's seat. So, as you can see here, from my point of view, I've got that right there. And that sits right there. So I'm still able to open and close, get to my cup holders. I lose this cup holder. I've got a tall cup, but um, I use my iPad in this, so I just actually just rotate it. Um, for the width because I haven't made a new platform for my iPad. So that is my laptop mount for a Toyota Prius.